Some of my subscriber asked me if I can show them how to tune these hybrid uh, vintage transceivers which have a PA stage uh, with the tubes. Uh, so I would like to show on this uh, my Tango Serie A20, A20S. This is a solid state, the complete, but the PA stage, it has uh, two tubes uh, which are delivering the output power. And uh, this procedure can be on any radio like uh, Yesu radios or even the older model which are completely tube based transceivers. Uh, tuning procedures uh, will be similar. And uh, I would like to also mention that uh, some people they say you always have to tune on the dummy load. Yeah, you can, you can do that but uh, uh, it's not illegal to tune on the antenna. All you need to do, you have to find a uh, empty frequency where it's, there's no traffic. Nobody is uh, uh, nobody is uh, using uh, that that. So you don't cause any interference, and you can tune it definitely. And I think it's a benefit to tune on the antenna because then your transceiver will completely resonance on your antenna. Not all the antenna matching systems are 50 ohms. Some they are 47, 45, even the best match antenna are 54. So uh, if you tune directly on your antenna, so it will match uh, pretty good, you know, because dummy load is always uh, 50 ohms. And if you tune on the dummy load and you switch over to the antenna, not every antenna is exactly 50 ohms. So then uh, it will be a little slight mismatch, which doesn't, uh, uh, that doesn't make big difference and uh, also they, there is also saying that uh, one need to be very careful with the tube transceivers if they are mismatched you know the, the, the tubes they will blow off of course if it's too much mismatch I mean if the standing wave ratio is more than three then it might affect for the longer duration of talk you know but uh, uh, if it's uh, under three, I think three and a half even, it won't affect. Uh, in my personal experience, uh, tubes can handle more abuse than the MOSFET. If you do the same treatment with the MOSFET trans, uh, transceivers, which in, with, with the MOSFET transistor output, of course they will blow. They don't take uh, uh, too much uh, abuse or mismatch. Uh, though the latest transceivers, they have a uh, a circuitry built in which protect it uh, and uh, if uh, they are mismatch uh, antenna system is mismatch then uh, it, they don't transmit or even transmit with a very low power so the, the most latest ones are good but the other ones transceiver solid state of 1980s and early 90s uh, they might uh, uh, their output stage might get hurt anyhow so uh, the starting point, you, what you need to do, you have to put uh, your load control completely on the anti-clockwise and drive control you put on the center. And uh, you put uh, your mode switch to the tune and your uh, meter at the ALC. Mic and carrier uh, you put on the middle. And uh, yeah, make sure you use the frequency which is... Uh, uh, not in use at that time when you are tuning and first we have to do uh, to to the drive and the carrier so you press the send button and here you go for the maximum reading you know uh, it doesn't matter go for the maximum with the with the drive so this is the maximum and then you adjust the carrier and then you bring the needle back into into the box of the ALC, you know, otherwise it will overdrive and it will be not uh, good modulation. Why we are bringing uh, back within the A ALC section? Because what it does in the SSB, so carrier wave basically is, carrier wave basically is, a, is a, just a CW, is a simple sine wave and uh, uh, in the SSB, what we are doing, we are mixing our audio information on the top of it. We mix it and the later part, we suppress the carrier and the audio information goes further and 
in the drive stage and amplifier stage and we leave in the air and the receiving station is receiving it mixing back the carrier that how they decode the signal that's why we call a single sideband upper or lower uh, if they are both sidebands are used if you don't uh, suppress the carrier then it will be a amplitude modulation or, or the AM like normal broadcast station so that's the difference so that's why it's important that we have to bring uh, the carrier within the ALC range so when we add up our audio through a microphone preamp so it should not over modulate you know if carrier is too high and uh, your audio input is less then it will not modulate very well if the carrier is low and your audio preamp is very high then uh, at the end uh, the other receiving station won't won't hear it uh, correctly modulation will be awful so that's why we have to bring to the uh, within the alc range so first step i repeat again what we have done it we went to the sand and we went to the drive and we Went for the maximum reading and then we bring the ALC inside the box. So second step is to adjust the plate voltage. What you have to do, you bring this uh, meter uh, setting to the IP which is plate current and you put your hand, hand on this plate uh, control button and what we have to do, we send it and we have to find the dip. Uh, so and the mode should remain at the tune so we press it and then we move it you see there is a dip and now the plate current are also set and they are on the resonance and at the end we have to adjust the rf power uh, with the load with the load control so we have to set up the maximum rf power so we have to what we have to do we have to go to the rf uh, in the meter selection we have to look rf and from tune we have to go to c cw so we'll maxim maximize the carrier wave uh, power to to see how it goes maximum then we send and on this stage especially you know you don't have to uh, you have to pick it up with the load and plate uh, uh, adjustment to maximum but uh, make sure you don't stay in the same mode more than uh, 10 seconds uh, that what is suggested and if it's taking more you go back to receive mode and then let it cool off for a few seconds and uh, do the procedure again because when you are doing it, it's not in the tune mode. Tune mode power is less, like 20, 25 watt. And the CW mode where we are tuning the, the load basically, so it's going full, more than 100 watt, 120. Perhaps if you have a new tubes, uh, it, it exceeds the 150. So if antenna is mismatched, then the, the tubes can get damaged. So 10 seconds, and if you are not uh, fully set, Go back to receive, wait few seconds and try again. But uh, it won't take then 10 seconds. So here we go. Uh, we go send. And then you see this is the maximum at 800 watts. And with the plate you can do. That's it. You are set. Your uh, transceiver is tuned. Uh, and uh, up till... Uh, 100 watt with your antenna system and most of the time when you do also with the with the cw and the carrier was under the alc and the mic uh, again is at the 50 uh, percent then the modulation is most of the time uh, is good but if you wanted to confirm because we we, we tune it at the carrier wave which is a cw mode uh, in the ssb if you wanted to be sure you go to the USB upper side band because we are on 20 meter band take the microphone whistle it or uh, make a sound like ah and make sure the needle doesn't go beyond the ALC you know and adjust your microphone gain if it's too much just to be sure so ah uh, ah uh, uh, 
it's under ALC so it's fine so you are you are tuned now you you can use the transceiver in my own experience people they say uh, every 25 uh, uh, kilohertz up and down you can re uh, retune it but uh, in my experience you can go minus 50 kilohertz uh, plus 50 kilohertz you don't need to to tune the 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 transceiver again for transmitting it should be fine uh, any frequency you can uh, use uh, minus 50 to to plus 50 so let's see to find some station and uh, we can give it a call Oscar Henry 2, Papa Queen. This is Papa Delta 2, America, Hotel Quebec. Roger, Roger. Uh, this is Papa Delta 2, America, Hotel Quebec. How do you copy me? Over. Roger, thank you for 744. Uh, you are 5 by 5, 55021, 021, QSL? 21, 21, 21. Uh, QSL 21 only. 021, 021. 73, bye bye. Yeah, you see, uh, uh, we went uh, almost uh, 22 kilohertz minus. We called the station and he read us very well. He gave us 5.9. Yeah, so simple. I hope you like it. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, leave in the comment. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.